Hello traders, how are you guys doing today? My name is Fidel. I'm a day trader and my strategy is majority and momentum is what I focus on the most. And today you guys, I'm about to talk about a subject on how to handle your losses, how to deal with your losses. Alright you guys, because I've been hearing some people be cutting losses when they're 10, 20 percent negative you know on their account and that sucks you guys and I tell myself wow how can you let that become so much I tell myself so today we're gonna talk about you guys how to deal with it and how to handle it when it comes to your losses alright you guys alright you guys let's start with number one you guys always you guys always always have a max loss that you're willing to lose that day that trading day for example, for small accounts, let's say you have an account that is $100, you know, for a beginner, okay? $100, and uh, the max loss that you should have within a day, let's say it's 10 bucks, 15 bucks. See, that's 15, 10% of your account right there, and that's a big percentage of loss when it comes to your account. You see what I'm saying? doesn't matter what size it is, because if you're able to treat an account when it's small, You'll be able to be more disciplined when it's big. You see what I'm saying? So always try to cut your losses at a maxed out that you feel comfortable with for everyday trade. Trading. You see what I'm saying? Okay. Now for a big account, let's say your account is two grand. You know, it's still good to have it. Let's say uh, from two grand, let's say ten per two grand, let's say ten percent. That's two hundred dollars. See, that's a lot. So let's cut it out. Cut a little bit less than that, maybe uh five percent, you know, hundred bucks or so. You see what I'm saying? But whatever you're comfortable with, make sure that you don't uh maxed out that max uh that maxed out that money that you don't want to lose in one day. You see what I'm saying? A small account, let's say ten, twenty bucks. Big account, you know, let's say a hundred, two hundred dollars or fifty bucks. Who knows? You know, whatever you're comfortable with. But you see what I'm saying? Okay. Let's move on to the next one, you guys. Some brokers, okay, some brokers like uh, Lightspeed, uh, which others, um, I forgot which others, but there are some brokers that they're willing to help you out and they're willing to set up a max loss that you're willing to lose in one day. And after you reach that max loss that you're willing to lose in one day, they won't let you trade no more until the next day because they want to help you out and you add this they don't do this okay you do it you let them know and they add it for you let's say you want to lose no more than five hundred dollars a day you know you, you talk to them they'll be able to set that up for you that when it hits that five hundred dollar loss in one day which sucks but I know it, it could happen they won't let you trade no more until the next day you see what I'm saying so some brokers do that you guys and they do that to help you out because they don't want you to lose all your money but they do it for you you see what I'm saying they don't do it themselves it's something that you have to call them and set it up alright you guys alright you guys always do your best you guys to trade quality stocks quality tickers you know I have experienced myself that I get involved with some garbage stock garbage ticker and I almost every single time you guys I get in it I end up losing so I have learned that you know these are tickers stocks are not good for me and I know that every time I get in I have to cut cut my losses so I don't I have learned not to get involved with those garbage stocks anymore you see what I'm saying try to uh, play better quality stocks but you know every once in a while I have to do I have to check myself okay all right, you guys, let's move on to the next one. When you're trading, you guys, take notes. You know, what price you got in, why you got in on that price, what indicators and everything that's going on at that time when you got in, and how it's moving, how it's acting, the chart, what it's telling you. Take all those notes, and then when you come out, when you execute yourself out of that position, at what price you executed yourself out? Um, was it... A positive percentage gain or was it a negative percentage loss you see what I'm saying you want to take all those notes you guys you want to learn your notes go back to your notes because you want to learn from your mistakes so make sure you don't put yourself there again okay let's move on to the next one you guys always know what you're risking okay you know because with value comes risk so always know what you're risking 
you know you got yourself in a position that cost you a thousand dollars to get in that position remember you're risking a thousand dollars right now so always do your best to set a stop loss to, to cut your losses quickly because sometimes people get emotional to the stock and it's hard for them to cut losses and that's why I tell people don't get emotional you know you gotta be logical and let it go it's costing you money so let's move on to the next one you guys again this is what I was just mentioning it let's move on to this one the one I was just mentioning right now about uh don't hold your losses you guys don't hold your losses you guys again if I get to a stock it cost me a thousand dollars to get in that position then I notice it's, I got in at the wrong time it's trending down you know, for me, according to the way I work, my type of strategy, I always, ha I always have a stop loss. So that's always going to stop it. You see what I'm saying? Now, if I really do feel uncomfortable, then I'll remove the stop loss and i just execute myself out before it even hits my stop loss. You know, why should I just lose that money? Okay? But anyways, you guys, don't hold on to the losses, you guys. Again, if I got in a position that cost me $1,000, you guys, then I'm negative 50 bucks. And I'm like, oh, nah, it's okay. It's going to go back up. I know it is. Before you know, I'm negative $70. And I tell myself, nah, it's okay. I'll go back up. Then I'm negative 100 bucks. You see what I'm saying? I'm like, oh, my gosh, I'm at $100. What am I going to do? Should I get out? If I get I'm going to lose all my money. Or should I stay in? Maybe we'll go back up. Or maybe tomorrow, whatever. You stay in, it's going to cost you more money. You cut your losses, move on to the next one. Don't be emotional. You see what I'm saying? But that's why, again, I bring it up. It's always good to have a stop loss, you guys. A lot of the times, you guys, I try to get out of the right position if I can and always set a stop loss. And when it triggers my stop loss, you guys, I usually come out with profit or cut my losses. But when it triggers that stop loss, you guys, I'm out already. Then I notice because I always try to keep... My, my I always try to keep track of the trades that I traded today and what happened after I got myself out of that trade. And I notice when it hits my stop loss, majority of the time, you guys, it keeps trending down. You see what I'm saying? So I'm grateful for my stop losses because they took me out of something that's going to cost me money. All right, you guys, let's move on to the next one, you guys. All right, the next one, you guys, is that you're always going to lose, you guys. Um... I've been trading almost for a year, you guys, and I have I have had four days in a row, you know, one week, all green days, making profit. But it's, there's always that one day out of that week, and uh, I'm in a negative zone, you know. I'm, I, I was negative maybe 2%, 3%, maybe 5% on my profile that day, but... Uh, on my position that day but uh you're always gonna lose you guys uh, it's something something that I say sometimes which is pretty funny is that uh you lose one no you uh, you lose the trade you, you no no you lose some you win some but you live to trade another day so you win some you lose some but you live to trade another day I'm pretty sure it's funny but it's the truth you guys you know what I'm saying? You're going to lose some. And from those losses, make sure you learn from them. If not, you're going to keep repeating the same mistake, the same loss. And by trading, you guys, if you guys are paper trading, then maybe it will cost you a couple more times because you don't have the emotion attachment, that, that money, that hard work money that you just lost. So sometimes it's a little bit different when it comes to paper trading. But when it comes to real accounts, you're going to feel it. And if you don't learn from your loss, you're going to keep feeling it and feeling it and feeling it. All right, you guys? So let's learn. Okay, let me move on to the next one, you guys. We are almost done. As, uh, always, you guys, try to set a tra uh, trading schedule for yourself. For me, you guys, usually I'm up at 5.30. The market opens at 6.30. I mean, at 6 o'clock. By 6 o'clock, I'm having my coffee in my office looking at my watch list on what I'm trading or updating my watch list on some new tickers okay and uh, usually me you guys is from 6.30 to maybe 9, 9.30 10 tops you guys and uh, if it's farther than those than that time than 10 in the morning uh, it's because the the position I'm involved in is still trending up that's why I'm still trading but usually I, like I said I have a schedule you guys and it's usually from 6 in the morning 
till 9 30 10 o'clock tops every day but if i could be done by nine i'm done with it you guys and i move on i don't i don't open the market no more or if i do open the market it's just to see if anything has changed but in no way i get back in you know i let it i let it be gone especially if i made money that day i had came to learn that if i make money you know i'm up a couple hundred bucks that day then I, if I keep trying to get greedy, I end up losing some of that money. You know, if I'm up 500 bucks, you know, and I keep trading, want to take some more home, before you know it, I end up taking 300, 250, 200 bucks home. You see what I'm saying? So I make my money, I'm happy, I close my desktop or my tablet, or my phone, etc., and I'm done for the day. Okay, you guys, we have to be disciplined and we have to be aware of what we're doing and don't be emotional when it comes to trading. Let's think logically, you guys, because, you know, we are against the super day traders, against the super computers, and sometimes we have to be smarter than them. Okay? All right, you guys, let's move on to the next one, you guys. Always try to trade less, you guys. Me, I only trade about two to three stocks a day, tops, you guys, tops, okay? And from those two or three trades, usually from um, two or maybe one, but usually from two out of three, I make some profits, and I'm done. You know, I don't keep looking to see what I, what's, what's going on. Or, the, or, or there are some days that nothing's going on in the market, you guys, and I don't trade. You know, I don't try to firstly look for something that I could firstly make something out of it. I don't do that, you guys. If it doesn't work for me, if it's not there, I don't play or I don't trade that day, you guys. Okay? So trading less, you guys. You know, If you guys know professionals trade less, amateurs trade more. That's why they have that PD trade. What is it? That uh, PD that uh what is it that uh that third party rule they have that you can only day trade three times a week you see what i'm saying um pattern day trader okay p d t rule thank you very much all right you guys the so last but not least you guys there's always gonna be another day to trade like i was mentioning right now a couple minutes ago that little phrase by debo Okay, you win some, you lose some, but you live to fight, you live to trade another day. All right, you guys, I hope you guys learned something about this video. Like I said, my intention of this video was for you to learn how to handle your losses and learn to cut your losses and don't be emotional when it comes to your losses, you guys, because the market truly don't care about your money or you. All right, all right, you guys. Make sure you guys subscribe, give it a like, and uh, remember, I'm doing this for you guys, so I hope you guys are learning and becoming better, alright? Alright, you guys, take care now. Have a good week. Bye-bye.